Welcome to episode 1149, Gennady Timchenko, oil baron from Russia and Armenia. This is an outline of episode 1149. Let us meet Timchenko. He's the president of the Russian Hockey League, and he also owns a hockey team. Искренне скажу, конечно же, времени всегда не хватает. Но сейчас приходится делить время на лигу, на клуб и на бизнес. Но учитывая все-таки то, что я сумел выстроить в бизнесе, это мне очень сильно помогает. Что такое клуб, что такое лига? Это тоже организация, это корпоративная структура, в которой есть управление, менеджмент. Соответственно, знания из бизнеса помогают мне работать и в клубе, и в лиге. Время для этого мы найдем. He was born in 1952 in Gurumri, Armenia. His father was in the military. He spent his childhood in East Germany and Ukraine, as a result of which he speaks German, which helps him greatly as a secretive oil trader in Switzerland in the 1990s. In 1976, he graduated from the Mechanical Institute of St. Petersburg as an electrical engineer. His first job was working for a nuclear power plant in St. Petersburg. Next, how Putin and Timchenko became drunk buddies in Finland in 1990. The company that, that Putin, that Timchenko formed, was the very first contract approved by Putin for the export of oil. It's contract number one. His first day, he signed off on this. You cannot tell me. No one in, no one in their right mind would believe that he didn't know who Temchenko was. The story is that they're both KGB, and they are good friends, and that they were arrested together in Finland in uh, 1990, so before the collapse of the Soviet Union. I mean, how, they were arrested for drunk and disorderly by the Finns. Now, how drunk do you have? Janko became a citizen of Finland in 1991. In 2021, he holds three citizenship, Russian, Finland, and Armenia. Next how Timchenko became so rich. And looking upon Putin's real friends. This is Gennady uh, Timchenko, one of the richest men in Russia, called uh, Novatech, gas producing company that has got uh, its licenses from Gazprom. Sibur, uh, a company that has been asset stripped from Gazprom. A pipe, a gas pipeline uh, construction companies that have also been asset stripped from the $400 billion natural gas pact with China in 2014. Серьезный толчок к развитию нашего Дальнего Востока даст такой и толчок развития именно нашей экономики, российской экономики. Вы знаете, я считаю, что э, всему свое время. Вот если мы сейчас говорим о ситуации в мире, то, конечно же, нам необходимо найти альтернативные рынки для наших энергоресурсов. Пока мы еще не готовы. The U.S. sanction and the fire sale in March 2014, just one day before the imposition of U.S. sanctions, he sold Gunwa Group, Cyprus-based oil trader, to his partner Tonkis for a reported sum of $2 billion. Tonkis is Swedish. And today he's a commodity trader billionaire with a net worth of $1.8 billion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Kennedy Timchenko, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.